Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. Hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today, uh, this is some career advice. Uh, I want to go over um, what would I do or what advice I would give someone to that's brand new if they're trying to get into IT. Like, what would be the quickest way I would take to accelerate my career? Um, obviously, if you knew my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So, um, I'm going to share my screen, but I want to make it a full presentation mode. This video shouldn't be that long, but I want to just share my insights of certain things because I've been in, I've been in IT for a while. If you guys know, I worked at an MSP company. I worked a lot of different jobs. So let me share screen number three. All right. So here we go. So there's a roadmap to accelerate my career in tech. You guys are, you guys, some of you guys are not going to like me for this. Some of you guys may like me for this. You may not agree with me, may not, may agree with me, may disagree with me. But um, if I was brand new to IT, I just, just to say hypothetically, you're brand new, you have no experience, you just came out of college, you literally are trying to get into IT, and all these colleges now have certifications and stuff like that. Would I recommend getting a regular help desk job or a regular or a regular help desk job working at an MSP company? Which one would I choose? I would choose working IT support for an MSP company. The reason for that is um, you have learning opportunities. And I'm going to go over this in a second. This is a website. Um, so you have learning opportunities. You work with different people, different departments. You have different tech stack. You, you have a lot of opportunities to grow. So I worked at two MSP companies uh, and literally I had access to firewalls uh, like Barracuda, Cisco routers, uh, for, Fortnite email, quarantine emails. Uh, I had access to the Citrix server. I had access to server 20, server 20, 2012 R2 at that time. I had access to the RSA token server. I had access to the BlackBerry server. Like I had, I had a crazy access for a tier one support person. So I, uh, I got my hands dirty with learning all these tech stacks and all these different technologies was through the MSP company, and that's that's literally what helped me get my first job working at a financial firm or a hedge fund was because I had a lot of experience coming from an MSP company. So I know it's not the, it's not ideal for some people because MSP companies can be can be good and bad depending on which company you work for. Like the job I worked at was very 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 stressful, um, a lot of work hours, a lot of overtime. I was tired a lot, but I learned a lot in that job. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna like be, be, between the pros and cons. For me, the pros is gonna be I learned a lot of different technologies. Which I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have come across if I work at an MSP company. Because if you work at a regular help desk company, you probably would just see like Active Directory, maybe Intune, maybe Intra ID, maybe one specific thing you would be doing a regular help desk. You wouldn't be touching a bunch of stuff. They probably would be, yeah, we're not giving you access to that. Yeah, you're not allowed to remote into that. Yeah, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. Uh, in an MSP company, you're allowed to do all that stuff. So. I would get my I would get myself going into an MSP company, which is why I I put Clutch right here. Because if you go to Clutch dot co slash IT services, this has all the MSP companies. I mean, I could I could literally remove this right, uh, just to show you. There are eight thousand five hundred and nine companies MSP companies in the United States, right? That doesn't include Canada. You could literally put Canada here because I don't know if people that watch my channel are from Canada. So you could put Canada here. Or I could literally erase the location and then put Canada here. Or I could put um, London here, probably. England, London, right? So this is not... People probably like, oh, this is probably just the United States only. No, it's everywhere. So... You could put a bunch of stuff here and look look up your area. Like it's like United Ab. See, so um, this has eight thousand five hundred nine jobs. Now, if I want to narrow it down even more, I could put New York in here. 
and it will go to 477 jobs, right? And these are all the companies that are, I guess, near me or around me. And what I what I would do if it was me, I would go to a real website just to see if the website is actually real, right? And then I would look to see if they're actually hiring. So I'll go to careers. This job is an MSP company, right? They have a ser service operations manager right now, reports to the CEO. So there's no there's no actual level one support right now at this point, but you know just something to look at, right? And you know I would just go to this, and then go to another website, right? And then see what they have, and then. This website goes here. Let me see. Page not found, which is fine. Go to home. Uh, I have New York. Okay, there's nothing on this one. So I, I would just go to... Uh, you guys see what I'm doing, right? I would just go to the website and see if there's a careers page on it. I guess there's a careers page on it. And see if... And this is an MSP company. View openings. And they have they have they have a service desk to support MSP. This is remote. Look at this. This job literally was posted a few days ago. Technology this is one to three, four year one to three years. Fast pace. They use Ninja One. They use ConnectWise. Three years of experience. Yeah. So like. This is a no-brainer. I would apply to this job, right? If it was me. Let's see how many job openings they have. So this is just one job. They have a job in Honduras. They have a job in the United States, full-time, in Dallas. So they have a lot of jobs here. Like, you know, so I would I would go to the MSP company and look for jobs. So I'm gonna stop sharing again. Or actually, let me let me go to my next slide, actually. So like I said, like you have different opportunities to learn. Uh, I did get access to a lot of stuff while working at an MSP company. It's not like it's not like I didn't learn anything. Like you know, you get up, you do get a lot of opportunities to learn. So, um, let me just stop sharing for a second. Yeah, like I just said, like literally, like it could be stressful for some people. It's not the right fit for certain people. It would not be the right. Fit. You're like. If you you can't do fast pace, probably not for you. Very fast MSP companies are very fast paced. Um, you have to be up and running. You know, get things done. There's no. I mean, obviously you're gonna get training. They have training and everything, but it's like very fast paced. Gonna go up and done. So I would, if I had to do IT all over again, literally, I would be working my first job at an MSP company, and then move myself over to system admin or cybersecurity or network admin, or whatever is available, I would be moving myself. Because when you were at an MSP company, you know, if you guys don't know, they also pay for like certifications. So they'll reimburse you if you get an A+, plus or Network+, plus or CUE+, plus, or you get a Microsoft certification, or you get a, I don't know, AWS certification, they will reimburse you. So uh, that would be ideal for me. Let me just share my screen again. And that's why I created this little diagram here. You, you could see... Um, you could see, like, I literally have this here, right? Is how long she stay in a company. Like, it depends on the company. So the company that I worked at, if I would have stayed another year, I probably would have got promoted more than likely because I asked. Um, and some companies give you opportunities to grow. Like, I have this, I have this one friend that he got an MSP job. Uh, he did help us in there, and now he works cybersecurity for for that company. And uh, he's on my, I posted about him on LinkedIn um, like over a year ago because he still works there. He works cybersecurity now, but he was doing IT support. Now he works cybersecurity for that company. So, and that's an MSP company. So there's nothing, there's no, there's no in between the lines or is bad or good. Like, you know, if you really want to accelerate your career, and I know it's going to probably, it's probably going to be very stressful, but it's well worth the actual doing of things, if that makes sense. Especially if you're younger, if they're like younger than me, because I'm not, I'm not like twenty something in, anymore. But like, if you're if you're younger than if you're like 18, 19, 20, 21, someone just graduated from high school or graduated from college, I would recommend getting a, uh, an MSP job, and it'll be a really good experience for you, plus a learning opportunity for you.
And then this is where I created the roadmap, you know, like go to the next slide. And there's a roadmap. It's it's a weird roadmap because the reason why I say it's weird is it depends where you work at. From my experience working at an MSP company, I have friends that I work that I know that do cybersecurity now, but they got their security plus in the CYSA and now they do cybersecurity for an MSP company. So some some companies like when, when I have the as well, I have the arrows pointed here, right? Like this guy that I know, he started out and helped us. And then he became a sysadmin. And then he became someone to work in cybersecurity. So he actually got a job doing cybersecurity. So he went from that to that. He went to that to that, right? But then I have someone else that I know. I have examples of people like this in real life that I know that just went from help this straight to cybersecurity. The guy that the guy that the guy that works the guy that works with me now that I know personally, and I'm not gonna say who his name is. He just he just ended up working. He just ended up going directly to cybersecurity. He didn't even do help us. He literally just jumped to cybersecurity. But if I had to start all over again, this is just me, I would probably do help us, MSP, for two years, maybe three years is my advice. Then pivot over to cybersecurity or ask your manager, what sort should I get to go into cybersecurity? Focus on that and then eventually move into cybersecurity in the same MSP company. Because MSP experience looks good on a resume. And I had that experience when I got that experience and I went to work at uh, the company I worked at, Blackstone Group. They hired me because of that experience I had at MSP company. It was a no-brainer because I did a, I had a lot of different technologies that I touched and worked with. So that's where I got my experience from being in help. Because when you work at an MSP company, you're, you're dealing with a lot of Fortune 500 companies. You're dealing with a lot of financial firms. You might work... You might like when I did it, I'll stop sharing and I'll stop this video. But when I did it, I worked at a I worked at a financial firm. I worked for five different financial firms. I worked for uh and I'm not gonna say names of the companies, but I worked at one financial firm. Uh another company I worked at, it was an asset management company, very big company, like like a 60, 60 billion dollar company, really big. And they took me to travel and I had to set up their access points working at an MSP company. So the opportunity to grow is there. Uh, obviously, it's going to be very, very stressful, but it's there for anyone that wants to grab it and actually do it, you know? So I would I would do MSP first and then move my way into cybersecurity or sysadmin or network admin or whatever, and then that's it. And I would be, I'll be good after that. That would be the quickest way, realistically, to accelerate your career. Now, if you're just trying to get into a job, like trying to just get any LT job, then, you know, obviously I'm going to say help desk, right? But that is up to you if you want to do that. I'm not saying to do that, but it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. If you're not good with customer service, you have no patience with dealing with dumb issues where, oh, my outlook's not working, my add-in's not working, or something dumb like, oh, my computer's not on, then, you know, and you have no patience for that, obviously, Help desk is probably not for you. We're gonna MSP company is kind of similar for help desk IT support. You still deal with that, but uh, a lot of back end stuff too. Um, but if you're doing regular help desk, yeah, you're gonna be probably gonna be miserable, and you're gonna be dealing with password resets or setting up a new hire at the last minute on Friday night because the guy starts on Monday or some crazy thing. You know, I'm just saying. I'm not even making this up. This literally happened. This literally happens to me all the time. When I was getting, when I was working help as right, these were literally like, oh, we have a new hire starting Monday morning. We have seven new hires starting Monday morning, Kevin. Okay, so uh, why did you let me know about it right now? I literally have no laptops. Okay, I guess I'm going to get them loaner laptops. You know, it happens. <laughs> All jokes aside, that is a real thing. But anyway, hopefully this video helps you out of some sort. If you're brand new to IT, you have experience. Like I said, thank you guys for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, more IT hands-on videos coming up. I've been busy with other. I also been sick. That doesn't help. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and take care. Bye.